Kia ora guys, it's Christine Garayas here, and this is the celebration of 50 subscribers! <laughs> We're at 54 now, which is epic. Anyway, I was going to do something big for this, I did say that, and I was originally going to do something a bit immature, like maybe a cream pie to the face, or ice bucket challenge, but then the weather changed, and so I had to change my mind on that. And also, the fact that I've had so much stuff going on behind the scenes, it has been absolutely ridiculous. But, it is all sorted now. Well, oh, had my fingers crossed. <laughs> I think. So now I can talk to you guys about the idea that I do have to celebrate 50 subscribers. Do you want to do a collab with me? Yep, that is the plan. So the plan for 50 subscribers, the celebration, is that you guys have the opportunity to create a piece of artwork, as it were. You know, like a work of art, a video, <laughs> with me. That's right, I am giving people the opportunity to do a video with me. I think that it'll be a lot of fun, it'll be a great way to get the community involved, and also I just genuinely love seeing what other people have to offer and what I can offer them. So, you've got three options if you'd like to collab with me. Number one is of course gaming, but there are some limitations to that. Unfortunately, because of everything that has been going on in my private life, I haven't been able to fix that PC that is up there on my other desk, my little table. I haven't been able to get it up and running or purchase a monitor. So, unfortunately, that means that I cannot play anything except online games. So if you want to play a video game with me, at this moment in time, it will need to be an online multiplayer game. And here's the other thing. It needs to be funny, it needs to be fun, and I do not mind if you bring some friends along, because the more the merrier. So, if you would like to do that, there's lots of ways you can get in contact with me. The best way is probably just to drop a comment down below and offer a suggestion. If you have any other game ideas that I can't do yet, but you'd still like to apply, because I would love that, drop it in the comments below as well, and I'll write it down in my journal and make sure I get back to you when that PC is up and running, and when I get the monitor, and when everything is to that point. The second one should be relatively easy for all of us to do, I hope, fingers crossed, but it is an art collab. So this can go many different ways. It could be colouring a line art by me or by you. Don't know where we'll go, but bearing in mind that I'm a digital artist, more or less, I haven't really had much practice with traditional, so I reckon it'd be really fun to mix up the two mediums. We could do some sort of silly art challenge. Honestly, the, the world is your oyster when it comes to that side of things, because being that creative, we could probably come up with some really, really cool ideas. And the third is just sort of like more miscellaneous. So in terms of miscellaneous, I'm talking about maybe doing a podcast about bullying or CPTSD, uh, maybe doing a skit if you live here in Auckland, I think that would be pretty cool if we could, I reckon that'd be really funny, and just any other suggestions you guys have of collabs you'd like to deal with me. I do enjoy spending time with the community, and I do enjoy working on projects with other people because it always gives me ideas, and I hope that this will become a regular thing. So how do you get to collab with me? Well... As I already said, with the video game one, it's best to drop a comment down below. But you can also find me on Instagram, and that's a really good way because I constantly check that because I'm uploading there pretty regularly. More regularly than here at the moment because life's just gone wee, and I'm like, oh, no, not again. So you can drop a comment down below for the gaming. Highly recommend that. You can message me on Instagram for the art, gaming, miscellaneous, whatever. I will respond to it. I love to respond to messages it's, and comments. It's one of my favourite things to do. As for artwork, if you are on DeviantArt, if you're a Deviant artist, you can find me under Brooke Crescent. And that way you guys can just drop me a note there and we can talk via the messages there and not clog up anything else. I think that this will be a really fun way to get the community involved. I'm certainly looking forward to it. I cannot wait to see all you guys' wonderful ideas. And also, if you have friends that aren't subscribed to the channel, and also get them to join the madness, but they are more than welcome to join in too, because I just want to do so many videos with you guys, have so much fun, and hopefully make this a regular thing. Also, when we get to 100, this is the big one that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I wanted to make sure that there was actually a chance of this working. So, if we get to 100, there will be a Facebook page for Brasinger Eyes, where you guys will get a behind-the-scenes look of what goes on when I'm not recording, parts of my life, maybe a little bit about my CPTSD, Maybe even some little secret contents and all that, just me being a goofball. And just a good place to keep up to date and help me interact with this wonderful community aside from YouTube. Because I know a lot of people are active on Facebook. 
you can, like I said, I've got Instagram, I've got Twitter, even though I don't really use Twitter that much, so the best place to find me is Instagram and, um, and hopefully Facebook in the near future, because I like to check that. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say, except for this. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll be honest, right? When I started doing this, when I started making the decision to uh, want to be a YouTuber, it was a very nerve-wracking decision. I've wanted to do it since I was 16 years old, but with complex post-traumatic stress disorder and my triggers and the way my flashbacks work and all the lovely, wonderful things that come along with it, I was not actually sure if I'd be able to do it. It wasn't until I had my bad crash a little earlier this year that I decided, you know, if I put this off any longer, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. So I want to try. And if this works, fantastic. And if it doesn't, well, then I'll just have to go back to the drawing board. I never expected to get over 30, let alone 50. You guys have got me up to 54. This is nuts. We're getting a really cool community together, and I know it's going to be something great. I am keeping my expectations low, though. I do not expect to get to 1,000. I mean, that would be incredible, because that means I could get off wins, and oh, a girl can dream. But it's not important. Money has never been important when it comes to this. It's more about being able to sit back, enjoy, and more importantly, find who is in here. Because she got torn away during everything. And the bullying that came with the abuse from home. So, constant trauma. Which is what complex post-traumatic stress disorder is all about anyway. So, I cannot thank you guys enough. Because every day I see a new subscriber, or every day I see a comment or a like, or a new follower on Instagram, or someone commenting on my artwork on Facebook or on DeviantArt, I cannot stop smiling, because it makes me feel so good inside. And on top of that, I'm writing my book, and it is being considered for publication. Like, publication. It is insane. It could get published. There is a high chance it could, if I finish it, and it's as good as the original 13 chapters, which you guys can still read on Inkit if you want to go and check it out. Please go check it out. It's at 678 reads already. <laughs> oh god, if it got to a thousand on there, I think I'd freak out. But that that is my magnum opus. That's something that I'm so proud of. And if it weren't for my CPTSD and everything I've been through, I don't think I'd be the writer or author that I am today. So you guys are just changing my life for the better. I feel more articulate. I'm not stuttering as much. I love being in front of the camera. And it's great practice because for the first time in my life, I didn't shake on the phone talking to ones. How cool is that? And that's all down to you guys because you give me confidence and you ground me. So thank you again for 50 subscribers. I hope you guys really enjoy what I'm putting out. I'm going to try and put out more content. I'm going to keep researching games I can do online. And I look forward to each and every collab that hopefully we will do together. And this will continue to be a thing on the channel long, long, long into the future, hopefully. I love collabing with people. I love the idea of coming up with projects with people that I believe have potential and I can help them grow. So thank you guys again. If you haven't already, if you're new to this channel, if you just saw this video and thought, oh, what's this? Please join the madness and hit subscribe because this channel's going places. <laughs> hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video game video. Check me out on Instagram where I just wabble on about random stuff. Thank you guys again for 50 more subscribers. Holy hell, I'm gonna hit that 75.